Hi everybody. So for today's spelling lesson, you're going to um, take the second column of spelling words and then you're going to put them in alphabetical order. So I wanted to show you one way that you can practice this, practice this at home so that you can um, do your best work. So the first thing I have is a sheet of paper and I picked out some index cards. If you don't have index cards, that's totally okay. You can use scraps of paper, you can use scraps of cardboard or anything else. So I have, I took the spelling words from yesterday and I have them here. What I'm gonna do on my sheet of paper is I'm actually gonna write out the alphabet so that I have something to look at while I am putting my cards in alphabetical order. All right, so I'm gonna just start up here at the top. Bring it closer. So A goes from the red line to the blue line, from the blue line to the red line, and then through the dotted lines. Then I'm gonna put a finger space and I'm gonna start for letter B. Finger space, letter C. And if you notice, this is helping me practice my handwriting skills too. So I got my finger space. And before you know it, you're gonna not even need to use your other finger to put your finger space because you're going to remember how much spacing goes in between each letter. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. We're gonna do K, and I skipped a line there just so I had um, some space. M, N, and if you're having trouble with your finger, you can use another pencil or another mark or a marker so that you can put it there, and you don't even have to put it all the way through the line. Oh, which you can't see. There we go. P, Q, move my marker. I'm gonna skip another line. There you go. So now I have my whole entire alphabet and I'm gonna take my cards and I'm gonna see if I have any A words. Nope, nope, oh, there's an A word. So I know that that's gonna come first because it's the only A word. I'm gonna go back through and I'm gonna look, do I have any Bs? And you can like kind of just do this actually. This would be a cool idea. Look at that. Now I can just look at the first letter. Okay, I don't have any Bs, but I do have a C. So, I know that the B is next. Don't have any, so I'll move over to C. There's my C. So, I've got that as my second word. All right, so now, move this over just a second. No, I have a C. I'm going to look for Ds. S, J, F, N, U, Q. Nope, no Ds. E's, nope. F, I do have an F. We'll pull that card out. go. F is next. G, no. H, no. I, no. But I do have a J. Jelly. And I'm just going to keep going down the alphabet until I find I don't have any more words on my cards. L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, no, S though, T, and then U. So now, let me kind of pan it a little bit. I have all of my first column spelling words in alphabetical order. And they're now on index cards so that I can practice reading these words or writing these words. So when I go over to our computer, underneath, we're underneath the day, I'm gonna write a comment. I'm gonna type in angry comma, chili, comma, funny, comma, jelly, comma. After every word, it gets a comma. 
just like that. So hopefully this um, this helped you. What, one of the things that you can do, like I said, with your cards, keep them. First of all, keep them. Always keep them. Um, if you have a hole punch at home, you can hole punch the corner of these and tie them on string or um, put them on a key ring or whatever. And whenever you get a second, you can quiz yourself. What's this word? Angry. What's this word? Chili. And you can just you can um, have them first in alphabetical order, and then secondly, you can have them for any other assignments that you need. So, hopefully, this helped.